Hi, welcome to Get A Brood. Today we're going to look at um, crushing malt. Every single batch of malt that we crush at Get A Brood, there's a grist analysis carried out on it. So we know that we're consistently, time and time again, sending you the perfect crush. Okay, so you might be asking yourself, why do we want to check grist fractions and grist analysis? It's very simple. You want to ensure that you're getting a balance between the runoff and extract. So extract's critically important because you're gonna make more beer, better beer. The first uh, sieve that we have is the coarse layer. So you can see coarse makeup. The second sieve that we have is fine layer. And then finally, we have the flour layer. When you're wanting to check your grist fractions, the reason you're doing that is you want to find a balance between runoff and extract. If you're a professional brewer and a craft brewer, you want to ensure that you're hitting that consistently time and time again. What we're trying to achieve is we're trying to take the starches from the malt and convert it to fermentable sugars. One thing to remember is malt changes from season to season. New season malt guide that Crisp have produced to tell you what to look out for. Now it doesn't matter what maltings you're buying your malt from, but if you're changing maltsters to a different maltster, you need to be taking this information into consideration. Within this little um, malt guide, it has a grist shake test guide. So it explains to you step by step how to carry out a grist analysis. How that is achieved is you take a uh, representative sam sample from your sack of malt. 100 grams is a perfect quantity. So you take your 100 gram sample of malt, pour that into the top of the grist box. Then place the lid on top. This is shaking back and forth motion for two, two minutes where you shake the sieves back and forward. What that achieves is it splits the coarse, fine and flour makeup of the crushed malt down. Then it's up to you to work out the percentages. So what you do is you take the, the box apart and weigh out each tray. So you weigh out your coarse, you weigh out your fine and you weigh out your flour. Those percentages then work out what the um, grist fractions are. Milling optimization is shown in this table here and it shows you the percentages that there should be for coarse, fine and flour. Bit of information out there within the homebrew community where everyone thinks that they need to crush the malt themselves. Now we're crushing fresh, so if we crush it fresh at Get A Brew and it's dispatched to you, you don't need to worry if that's sitting at home for a few weeks, even a few months, we can guarantee that that will be premium quality given the amount of malt that we rotate through at Getter Brood. And we'd remind you that on every sack of malt that we dispatch, there's a QR code. So if you download the Crisp app, and you scan that QR code, that gives you the spec sheet for the malt. Thanks very much for watching. And we really appreciate it if you give us a like. Until next time, thank you.